Hi, Michelle here. Welcome to today's video. I thought today I would show five plants that are kind of in my hall of shame for the month of November. These are plants that um, have just really done nothing this month. They're slowly dying. They're slowly doing absolutely nothing. Um, I just don't know what to do with them anymore. So I'm kind of putting them in the hall of shame. So I thought you'd like to take a look at them with me and let's go ahead and see what's going on. So if you like today's video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see other plant related content from me, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really helped me out. I'd appreciate it a lot. And if you have any questions or comments, please write them below. I'll get back to you, I promise. And on with the video. The first plant I have in my hall of shame for the month of November is this Sigillatus. And you wouldn't think it to look at it, but it really is. I've had this Sigillatus since, um, I'll have to put it up on the screen, but I've had it for a very long time. And it's really done not much. Um, as you can see, it's got a uh, original stem here that hasn't, that's just grown one leaf and nothing else. Um, but thankfully, it grew this stem and this stem, which seems to be its most productive one. But it tends to die off like it did right here. So it's, it's a frustrating plant. Um, it grows a little and then it dies off and then it grows a little and it dies off. So it's in pawn right now. Um, I'm tugging, I'm tugging on the roots a little to make sure they're still rooted in place. And they are, um, this one actually does not have a wick in it. So that's kind of surprising to me. Um, I feel the pond. It feels wet. Um, so that's a good thing. I'm kind of digging around in it. The roots are pretty far down. Um, I'm looking outside the cup. I don't really see any roots outside the cup except for this one. And it's dead. So maybe the roots are an issue. I'm not really for sure. So maybe I will take this out of the pot and take a look at it. And I'm so sorry my dog is using its her squeak toy right now. So, you know, I'll try taking this out of the pot again and try to look at it again and see what's going on with it and maybe get it to go ahead and grow. And the other thing is, is the leaves are so, so thin that thankfully the leaves up here aren't so thin, but down here they are. So the first plant in my hall of shame for the month of November is this Hoya sigillatus. The second plant, and I better grab it fast because it's dropping leaves everywhere. It's dropped three leaves on me just while I'm filming this video. And it's this um, Sipitangensis. Um, it, it is trying to root, and if I look, I see one with a tiny little root right there, but the other two don't have any roots and they are dropping leaves like mad. I don't want to break these long um, cuttings up unless I have to, but you know, I'm getting to the point where I have to. The reason this is in the hall of shame is I've had this for a very long time. I'm just putting the cuttings back in the, uh, in the, bottle. I've had this plant for a very long time and it was doing well. And then all of a sudden it took a nosedive. It uh, had root mealies. Unfortunately, I found a few plants in my collection that had root mealies. Someone in Hoya Jungle posted that they did five different uh, treatments with some bare advanced um, tree and shrub uh, treatments. And they posted their success rates treating root mealies with a soil drench with it. So I'm going to try that and see how it goes. Um, I've already drenched uh, two, two plants. Um, and it 
took the root mealies right up to the surface right away. So I'm hoping that this is going to be as successful. Uh, normally what I do is I cut the roots and I just start over from fresh. Um, but I really would like to see uh, a try a method to see if it works on a plant that's not as important. So that way when I have a plant that is of the utmost importance to keep the root system, I know if I have a method that will work to keep the root system and keep the root system healthy. So it's an experiment. Um, it's not, I'm not saying that that's going to be the way to kill root mealies. It's an experiment and we'll see what happens. So that was off on a tangent. I'm sorry about that. But that's the reason why the Sipitingensis is on my hall of shame. Uh, these cuttings are dropping so many leaves right now. And I wish they would just root up. Uh, what I will probably do after the video is I will probably cut these into shorter cuttings and stick them in the water and see if I can't get them to root that way. So that is my second plant on this list this month. The third plant on my list, on the list this month, and you'll have to excuse it, it's got uh, some, some dusty water on it, uh, some dusty water spots on it, but this is my Fuwaensis. This is on my November plant hall of shame because it just hasn't grown at all in like, six months. Um, it's been treated for flat mites. I know it's not flat mites. I've looked at it with a microscope time and time again. I've treated it with commercial miticide. I've trimmed the roots back twice. I've regrown the roots twice. I really don't know what it, what it wants. Um, it does have some roots. The roots don't look the best. Um, you know, that root came off. Um, it's got a root coming oop, it's got a root coming out through the wick feels strong so maybe i'll have to take it out of the pot and take a look at the roots i don't know but it hasn't grown at all um and that's really disappointing it's it's kind of a real pain in the you know backside i i don't know if uh any of these these cuttings has root rot maybe Maybe one of them does. Uh, one of them kind of doesn't pass the tug test so much. So this one is kind of comes up a little when you tug on it, but the rest of them seem fine. So I know it's not mites, whether it's a root issue, maybe at this point, that's all it can be. It's in a, a cabinet that has humidity. It's in a cabinet that has light. Uh, it's in a cabinet that other things grow. I wish it, I could figure it out so I could uh, fix it. So this is my Fua Ensis, which is definitely in the plant hall of shame for me for the month of November. And this plant is definitely in my hall of shame for the month of November. This is my Dishidia hirsuta. Um, I'll let you get a good glance at this. As you can see, there are dead uh, leaves in there. There's this is dead. And you can see where I tried to clip down the, the cuttings, but it didn't work and that died. I brought some scissors so I could trim this. So that's no need to keep that anymore. So, oh my gosh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. This may not be in the hall of shame. Look right there. There are two new leaves. I don't believe it. I did not see that when I pulled this out. I was so focused on all the dead junk I keep pulling out on the other side and I'm still pulling out dead leaves on the other side by the way so look okay that's all that's left of the plant but look right there 
two new leaves. That's so exciting. I finally got it to grow. So, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, let me see if I can pin this down in place somehow. This was definitely on my list because it just kept dying back. The whole thing originally was full of, of leaves laid flat. Uh, now it's not, but it's got the new leaves. This is, so it's kind of in my plant hall of shame, but now that it has uh, two new leaves, I shall temporarily take it out of detention. How about that? So we will see how it looks uh, next month. And maybe I can take it out of Hall of Shame. Okay, the last plant. I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. This is this is real, this is real plant keeping here. The last plant is oh yes, you can even see it. See the crispy leaf? This is my this is my Hoya elliptica. Um, it does have some new growth, thankfully. Um, but it has as much damage as it has new growth. Um, I'll let you take a look at that. Sorry, Sandy. Go get it. It has as much new damage as it has growth. This was really attacked by the flat mites. I am so sorry. My dog just picks the worst time to play. Um, it was really heavily attacked by the flat mites. It was, it was sprayed twice with commercial miticide, uh, another dead leaf. Um, it was sprayed with commercial miticide. It never real, it never really recovered. I don't know if that's going to be a dead leaf. See, and, and it still acts like it has mites. Like it does things like this where it'll produce new growth and then the new leaves will just fall off. I put, oh, 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 I know why. It's got root mealies. See? And in the book. Okay. So we'll, that's okay. I'm not, I'm not worried. So what I'm going to do is I have the, the Bayer Advanced Tree and Shrub uh, with the suggested insecticide in it, um, I'm going to soak the whole entire uh, net pot for 20 minutes, and then I'm going to thoroughly flush the the net pot, thoroughly flush that pond to get out the insecticide or the miticide, and then I'm going to put fresh water back in it and I'm gonna treat that once a week for three weeks. I did that on my let's see on my I did it on two two other Hoyas and the root mealies floated right up to the top and it the plants seem to be doing really good after that. But that's definitely probably what's going on with this uh elliptica. So that one's definitely in the hall of shame, but it's my fault. So I should be in the hall of shame instead of the elliptica for this one. So kind of my bad. Um, I should check that. I know I checked it. I know I checked it uh, a few weeks ago, checked the, checked the pot and didn't see anything. So that must have happened fast. That's in this detolf over here. So that means that I'll be checking that detolf for root mealies. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. Thanks for joining me on a lighthearted take on some plants that have been frustrating me this month. I know we don't have a plant hall of shame. I thought if I could laugh about my plants with you, it would make the situation a little easier to handle. I have some other video ideas coming up in the same vein about plants that may be divas or finicky, but I also have some care-focused videos planned. Please leave me a comment below and tell me what kind of video you are looking forward to seeing. Until next time, I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.